Hello guys, this is Lina Slima Yankee 2 Hotel. I have made with this antenna uh, thousands of QSOs and the main advantage is, is it's sturdy, it's reliable, it's got a quick quick mount which is very important and uh, it's pretty effective it, despite being just a uh, 5 meter whip MFJ MFJ uh, telescoping whip very re reliable very sturdy one and base loaded with the with the uh, also very sturdy and reliable and big coil it's important for the coil to be sturdy reliable and big then you get the bigger the coil the bigger the efficiency you have from your antenna so let's see what we have today with this five meter base loaded vertical so it's extending like five meter length and now I'm gonna fix it uh, onto the roof rack of my radio van. Counterpoise wire, it's obligatory. Basically, I took this uh, original counterpoise wire from my another set of vertical antenna from Buddy Stick. Another very good antenna, I'll tell you about that in my other videos. So, but this is essential, you need to have the counterpoise because this is a vertical and you need to have the other shoulder for, for the radio waves to, to, get, uh, to get effectively radiated. So, this is uh, almost quarter wave on 40 meters, around nearly, nearly 10 meter length. And um, I'll just simply fix it there and make it in some L shape. This is actually resonant and you can, if you are really, really very, so to say, purist, you can try to adjust the length of the counterpoise wire uh, to get the best SWR. But I usually don't, don't waste time for that. I'm adjusting my SWR with the, with the tap uh, on the coil and uh, I mean in most cases it's okay from 40 and up. This is the RF choke. It's important when you operate in the field it's important to have one uh, because it helps uh, to prevent RF in your mobile shack. Uh, it's, uh, it's an MFJ RF choke balloon. Very simple, very reliable, well sealed and I use it for many many years and it's still still running well. Uh, I will connect it uh, beneath the coil from the coax uh, connector on, on, on the coil and then to the piece of cable which goes into my shack inside the radio van.
So it goes very, very well on, on 40 meters and I've done just in some 15 minutes uh, around 20 QSOs. Uh, SWR is around two, it's okay, as long as the transceiver stands it. And there's no antenna tuner this time. All right, let's see if we're getting some contacts on 30 meters. Perfect. Kilo Delta 1 Charlie Tango on 30 meters with the vertical. Okay guys, now we are on 20 meters. On 20 meters we don't use the coil at all. So it's just 5 meters telescopic whip and the 10 meter counterpoise wire. So it's actually ideal one quarter wave vertical antenna on 20 meters. SWR is, is okay. You can see it's 1.5, 1.6. It's because of uh, it could be one to one, but you know, as I said, I'm, I'm I'm a bit too lazy and saving my time in adjusting the counterpoise wire. So that's uh, that's why the counter counterpoise wire is a little bit longer than it should be on uh, 20 meters. But uh, but still, 1.6 is okay. So let's try CoSQ and see what happens. So Victor Echo 9, Mike Yankee, it's uh, Canada on 20 meters, very good. If we look at the reverse beacon net uh, to see who is receiving me how, we can see pretty nice picture that the all uh, stations across Europe, Western Europe and Europe in general, rece re receiving me pretty well with the signal uh, to noise ratio from 20 to 29 dBs like like uh, this german station for instance delta radio for whiskey and even some stations across the pond receive me pretty well like w3 uniform alpha station 
on 20 meters giving me signal to noise uh, ratio report 17 db which is pretty nice and if we go further on we can find also another canadian station victor echo 2 whiskey uniform which receives me also pretty well at the level of 15 db so it proves one more time that this antenna is pretty effective and um, it's uh, fast deployable and also fast to wind up when you finish work it's easy to install it's only one radial this one elevated radial brings some certain directivity uh, towards uh, the uh, site it's directed to uh, this uh, five meter long base loaded uh, vertical with one elevated radial is really really way to go all right summing up guys uh, i've spent uh, two hours roughly on the year and i've made 140 qso's on uh, 40 30 and 20 meters cw and ssb so what can i tell the antenna the vertical antenna uh, the, the the basically five meter whip base loaded with a coil works indeed very very well so thanks for watching subscribe make your comments on your antennas you are using outdoors maybe you're using the same vertical the same coil loaded maybe there are some very many other types of coil loaded antennas which are also good for portable so i think anything is good for portable if you go outdoors so 73 good luck